sketch the graph of x squared minus 4xy plus 4y squared plus 5 root 5y plus 1 equals 0. So this here, I've got a standard equation for a conic. I have an xy term here, which tells me that this is a rotated conic. And uh, so I'm going to convert this to a new coordinate system where I don't have the xy term, so I'll be able to graph it. So here I identify, first of all, my a. a is the, is the number in front of the x squared, which is 1. b, the coefficient of the xy term, which is negative 4. c, coefficient of the y squared, which is positive 4. d is the coefficient of the x term. There is no x term, so that's 0. Okay, e, the coefficient of the y term, is 5 root 5. And f is the constant term, which is 1. And uh, then we're going to go through and find our angle of rotation and our new coefficients a prime, c prime, d prime, e prime, and f prime. So for our angle of rotation, we have this relationship cotangent of 2 theta is equal to a minus c over b. So a is 1, c is 4, and b is negative 4. So this gives me a negative 3 over uh, negative 4 or three-fourths. All right, so I'm looking for an angle where cotangent of two times that angle is three-fourths. There's no special angle that does that. However, I can uh, draw a picture where this is true. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've got a little triangle here. And cotangent, so if this is my angle two theta, uh, cotangent is the adjacent over the opposite. So that would be I can write this as 3 over 4, and then use my Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse, which of course is going to be, oh, not, not root 5, just root, just 5. Okay, so I've got this, this uh, triangle here. Now, when I go through and I find my new uh, coefficients, I'm going to need the cosine of theta and the sine of theta. And I actually have a triangle here that represents uh, two, 2 theta. So I'm actually going to have to use some identities. So to find the sine of theta, because I'm going to need that, um, I'm going to use the uh, half angle identity, which is that this is the square root of uh, 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2. And I can now, I can do this because I have a triangle that has the two theta in it. This is a right triangle with that angle. So now this is going to be the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 2 theta. That's just adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 fifths. 3 fifths over 2. Okay. And this is, this is 2 fifths over 2, which is 1 fifth, and I have the square root of that. So square root of 1 fifth. Okay, and then for cosine of theta, we could do the same thing. We use that half angle identity. This is the square root of 1 plus the cosine of 2 theta over 2. And, well, the cosine of 2 theta, that was 3 fifths. And so now this is, at, what, 8 fifths over 2, which is 4 fifths. So I've got the square root of 4 fifths. So now I have sine of theta and cosine of theta that I will be using when I find my new coefficients. Let's go ahead and find those coefficients. Um, we need a prime. A prime, the formula is a times cosine squared of theta plus b times cosine theta sine theta plus c sine squared theta. Okay, well this is, let's see if I can keep it all on one line. a is 1. Okay. Cosine squared of theta is just going to be 4 fifths, okay. plus b, which is negative 4. Cosine theta, sine theta, so I'm multiplying these two things. So I get the, squ the square root of 4 over 25, which is just 4 fifths. I'm sorry, 2 fifths. 2 fifths. Um, and then I have plus c, which is 4. Sine squared. Sine is the square root of one fifth, so that's just one fifth. So this is four fifths minus eight fifths plus four fifths, uh, which is hey, that's zero. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I move on. I can do c prime 
formula for C prime is A sine squared theta minus B cosine theta sine theta uh, plus C cosine squared theta. So A is 1. Sine squared theta is 1 fifth. I am squaring this. Uh, minus B, but B is negative, so that's plus 4. Times uh, cosine times sine, that's the square root of 4 25ths, which is just 2 fifths. And then plus C, which is 4, uh, times cosine squared, which is 4 fifths. That's 1 fifth plus 8 fifths plus 16 fifths. That's 25 fifths, which is 5. For D prime, our formula is D cosine theta plus E sine theta. Okay, <clears throat> D is 0, so this is the whole thing is just gone. And I have E, which is 5 root 5, times sine of theta, which is root 1 over 5. And this just, that's just 5. Those two square roots cancel each other out. And then for E prime, E prime is negative D uh, sine, sorry, sine of theta plus E cosine of theta. Again, D is 0, so this term is gone. And then I get E 5 root 5. And then cosine of theta, which is the square root of 4 fifths. So the fives here will cancel, the square roots of five will cancel. You get five times root four, which is five times two, or ten. And finally, f prime is just equal to f, which is one. All right, we've got all of our coefficients, so we're ready to plug these in and write our new uh, equation for the conic in the a x prime, y prime system. Uh, so a prime is zero. C prime is 5, so I get 5y squared. Okay, plus D prime x, so that's plus 5x, plus E prime y, so that's plus 10y, plus f, which is 1, equals 0. Oh, these are primes. There, there we go, that's y prime, x prime, y prime. Okay, this is my new equation in the x prime y prime coordinate system, and we want to graph this. Okay, we should recognize this as a parabola because we've got that y prime squared term, uh, but no x prime squared term. So let's go ahead and get this in our standard form. Um, I'm going to keep my y primes together. So 5 y prime squared plus 10 y prime, and then I'm going to move these other terms over. So equals a negative 5 x prime minus 1. Okay, I will need to complete the square here. So I pull that 5 out. I'm left with a y prime squared plus 2 y prime equals negative 5x prime minus 1. Um, and then here I can complete the square and hopefully we're comfortable with this at this point with that. So this is just y prime plus a 1 squared. Um, this is uh, this gave me an extra uh, five uh, that I added, so I'm going to add that to the other side, so I get negative uh, five x prime uh, now plus four because I need to add an extra five on the right side to balance with the left. Okay, finally dividing by five, I get y prime plus one squared equals dividing this thing by five, I get a negative x prime plus four fifths. Now to write this in our standard form, we do need to pull out that negative. So we'll have a negative and then x prime minus 4 fifths. Okay, this is a horizontal parabola um, with vertex at 4 fifths negative 1. And p is, I know that 4p is negative 1, so p is negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this, and I'm going to sketch it first in the x prime y prime coordinate system, and then I will rotate it. So x prime, y prime. So we'll go kind of extreme here. Uh, we'll say that's one. It's one, two, um, and that's one, two. Okay, and uh, so our x prime 
uh, coordinate of the vertex is at four fifths, right around here, and the y prime coordinate is down at negative one. So there's our vertex. Uh, we got that p was sorry, p was negative one fourth. So this will be opening to the left. The directrix is uh, is here at x equals one, and the focus is here at. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, not not at one at four fifths plus one fourth, whatever that is, and then at four fifths uh, minus uh, one fourth will be our our focus. I'm not really going to draw those, but I will go ahead and sketch here. Um, so something like that. That's a really sloppy parabola, but that's the idea. Um, and uh, and then we need to rotate this. So I'm sorry, this is really going to bug me. Let's go ahead and just try it one more time. That's uh, not quite. That's a little bit better, huh? Okay, I'm a little bit happier with that. All right, let's go ahead and rotate this. Um, our angle of rotation was oh, we don't really know what it is, do we? Because we just found that uh, we just found these values here. We found that the cotangent of 2 theta is equal to 3 fourths. So we're just going to use our calculator um, to, uh, to, do the, to find that angle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and punch that into the calculator. Um, so I need the, the inverse cotangent. And you know what? The inverse cotangent, many calculators don't have it. Um, if your calculator does not have it, let me write this out. We have this beautiful thing, the inverse cotangent of a value um, of, uh, what should I call it? I want to call it x or y. Let's call it z. Inverse cotangent of z is equal to the inverse tangent of 1 over z. And this is at least in the, this is true in the first quadrant. Um, of course, it gets a little bit off. Um, and you just have to think about which quadrant uh, your thing is going to give you and, and where, where you want to be. I am in the first quadrant here because we had cotangent 2 theta equals 3 fourths. That was a positive number. I know that's in the first quadrant. So this is going to work out. So if, uh, <coughs> if your calculator doesn't have the cotangent inverse button, you can use this formula here to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this. And I do, have, um, I do have a cotangent inverse button here. Um, and it was... Uh, three fourths there, so three over four, and I get a decimal here. I'm in degree mode, so this is 50, about 53.1 degrees. So, so that was two theta. Um, let's go ahead and come down here. So I know that two theta is about 53.1 oh, degrees, and then we can divide that by two. Let's go ahead and do that. Divide by two to get our angle of rotation. So theta is about 26.6, about 26.6. Uh, 26.6 degrees. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this and I take my, uh, my thing and I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna rotate that to what looks to me like about 26.6 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my, uh, my standard, my x, y coordinate system. And uh, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and perfectly lined up, which this obviously is not. So we're going to go ahead and move that up so that it's, the origin should be the same for both of these. Looks like we're, ooh, we're right. It's just kind of clear. There we go. Okay, we're, so now this angle right here, that's that theta, tw about 26.6 degrees. There's my parabola. You can see it's been rotated, so now it's kind of opening down towards the, the bottom left. And, uh, and that is our conic, our rotated conic.